Right on, it's Kevin Perry from ringtalk.com. I'm here with Steven Edwards, boxing trainer extraordinaire. Um, his fighter fought last night, uh, Julian Williams. He fought a great fight. Um, assess the uh, fight last night and um, what you thought. Uh, I know it ended in no contest, but uh, his, his uh, overall performance. Um, I thought his performance was great last night. You know, it's just the politics of boxing. Uh, he did everything I asked him to do. He won every round of the fight. You know, he was dominating the kid. It was supposed to be a 50-50 fight on paper, but it really wasn't. You know, I knew Julian was a more talented fighter, and I actually like, you know, his opponent. I think he's a nice young kid. He just, you know, he just has questionable character in the boxing ring. You know, if, if you're an undefeated fighter and you're young and you're trying to make your mark in the game, you know, and it's the fourth round of a fight and you're down on some points, you know, you're supposed to have the kind of intestinal fortitude where you push on. The kid knew, or his corner, somebody told him that if the, the fourth round is not scored, then it's a no contest. The kid knew he was losing the fight, so instead of bearing down and fighting, he acted like he didn't know how many numbers the referee had. I mean, the uh, doctor was having, um, was holding up in front of his face. I just think it's a shame, you know? And that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to fight a quote unquote marketable type of fighter that was managed by Oscar De La Hoya's brother because I knew that something like that could possibly happen. And that was the only way they could get him out of the fight. Yeah, it, it, it kind of did seem like he. Um he did uh, bow out of the fight, it seemed to me, and Jay Nady stopped the fight pretty quickly. Jay Nady didn't even check on Julian Williams. It was the most, it was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen, Kev. Both of them had cuts in the same identical spot. Neither one of the cuts was over the eyelid, so the blood was flowing in the eye. It was cuts on the side of their face. It wasn't even a hard hit, but it was more like a rub. And Jay Nady grabbed the kid and kind of took him to the doctor. Most most referees would have said, okay, it's not running me eye. Keep working and then let your, um, your cut man work on it in between rounds. They never even did that. They wanted the kid yeah. to get out of the fight, and that's just what happened. And it's a shame, man. You know, everybody always says they want, you know, guys to take tough fights and come in. My kid was 13 and 0, and he took the fight, and look what happened to him. You know, yeah, it's, I it's, it's I very disappointing because that was the performance that he needed to push him to another place, and everybody saw the yeah. fight, but officially it doesn't count. But he, he, he did, uh, he, he showed the uh, the potentials there, and he he, you know, you, you guys are getting um Julian has fought three or four kids that's better than Hugo Centennial. The only reason why that kid is 19 and 0 is because he's a quote unquote marketable kid and he's with who he's and, with. And he's an Oxnard kid too, right? Yes. I'm, yeah. I'm familiar. I'm, I'm from Ventura County originally, so I, you know, they got a lot of fighters out there and they got a lot of backing with them. Um, but let's move on though to uh, the main event um, that's going to be on Saturday, September 14th, Mayweather against Canelo. Um, I know a lot of people, um, they're kind of looking at Canelo's power. They think he has a chance. Uh, in my view, I don't think he has much of a shot. Uh, what, what's your view on the fight? Uh, can you give uh, us like uh, a 30-second uh, breakdown? Every fighter has a chance in a fight, and especially a young, undefeated guy that doesn't want to lose his own. Um, I saw him at the way he does look something. I don't know if they can put an IV in him or uh, rehydrate him. He didn't look good to me. Yeah, he, he looked he like he really down, struggled to make dragging. the 152. And yes, he was sitting down and he was dragging. He didn't look good physically. Um, I think if Floyd moves, it's not a hard fight. You know. Um, you, you don't. You think uh, Mayweather could beat him if it becomes a dog fight? I don't know. I don't know. Canelo punches in a unique punch sequence. You know, he throws uppercuts, he mixes through hooks, and his hands, his hands are fast, but his feet are not that fast. People think Canelo's slow. He just has slow feet. His hands yeah. are actually fast. So, I so think, um, r r real quick, uh, who do you think uh, wins the fight? I'm gonna go with Floyd by decision, but I want to say something. This crowd here is frantic. Are right, you, you? Uh, this is Kevin Perry from RingTalk.com. Um, we're at the weigh-in for Mayweather Canelo. Uh, you got a prediction for the fight tomorrow? Who are you picking? Uh, my name is John. I predict uh, Mayweather by split decision. Wow, wow. So uh, how do you see the fight playing out? Uh, I see the fight pretty much playing out. Uh, it's up to Canelo to, uh, to catch Floyd. If he doesn't catch Floyd in the early rounds, then uh, Floyd Mayweather's going to do what he does, which is uh, punch, jab, and move, uh, exhaust. Uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez's uh, attempt to uh, you know, to do something uh, defined and, and signature. And if he doesn't do that, then it's going to be Floyd Mayweather by decision. Maybe even split, but I'm giving the victory to Floyd. Right on, right on. Thanks, man.
This is Kevin Perry with ringtalk.com. We're actually at Canelo Mayweather weigh in. We've got a man here. What's, what's your name, bro? Todd. Who are you picking for the fight tomorrow? Money May all day. Money May all day. And how, how do you think he's going to pull off the win? Well, probably Canelo gets maybe like three or four rounds, but he dominates the majority of the fight. Right on, thanks, boss.